today I'm going to show you how to do going out out curls. Um, I like to use my Fabulous Pro wand. I tend to go with the medium size barrel because I like a bit of volume, but I also like to keep my length. So today I'm going to show you my technique on how to do this. So I've washed my hair using my old reliable at the moment. I'm using the Honey and Oatmeal Shampoo by TG. Um, I find that gives me lots of moisture. So that is the one that I go back to when my hair is feeling a little dry. Um, I can't get to the hairdresser right now, so do excuse my ends. Um, so I've also run through some heat resistance by Kerastase. It is called the Kerastase Resistance. Um, and it's a cream heat protector. So I've run that through my hair before I dried off. Um, I haven't used my irons or anything on this. I've just rough dried my hair um, till it's completely dry. So what I'd now do is I would section out this top section. So I do have hair extensions. So it's very tricky to get straight lines. So if you just pull out your part section there, back to the crown. And just section that off. Then come down into the sides. So just section those off into some little pretty bands. Right. So the hair that I've got left, I would then part into two sections and bring over my shoulders. So as I said before, I quite like to keep my length. So depending on how much hair you've got, you need to take sections sort of about this big. So my hair, I've split that into two. I then take my curler and I wrap that evenly around and then bring that up to the root like so. I normally count to 10 in my head, but if you just use your fingers, and just check the hair is getting nice and hot. Don't touch the barrel, that really hurts. <laughs> I've done that a few times. <laughs> then spend the night with a blister on my finger. But beauty is pain, eh, guys? So that's definitely longer than 10 seconds, but it might be because I've just washed it. It's taking a little while today. So that feels nice and hot now. So I then just let that drop. See, like so. So then take this section. Again, by feel, you don't have to be too precise. You just need a nice amount to curl. So again, I'd wrap that around my barrel and then bring that right up to the root. Like so.
definitely taking more than 10 seconds today. Maybe we should count to 20 today. <laughs> there we go. Add a little fill with my fingers and then take that out. Do you see that beautiful curl? Don't panic if they feel really tight at first because after we're done, I'm going to show you that you can just run your fingers through it and make it look beautiful. Oh, oh. I think some people get a bit scared to touch it but they're not gonna fall out you have to get to know your own hair everyone's hair is so different i get people trying to book in with me for blow dries and big bouncy essex girl blow dries and i'm like well have you got hair that does that or not some people's hair just doesn't you've got to figure out what works for you so this section's a bit smaller so i'm just going to keep a check on that just watch the barrel on your neck as well and the top of your ears we don't want burns do we there we go beautiful so there's that side um, as you can see, at the moment, I've lost quite a bit of length, which is why I let these drop um, down anyway, rather than roll them. So I'm going to show you at the end how we can pull that downwards. So just moving on to this other side and we do the same on this side. So I'm going to split that into two for now. Just bring that forward. two parts there again like I said before you don't need to be too precise with your sectioning I think sometimes people struggle because they overthink what they're meant to be doing I'll just roll that right up to the root have a little feel of the hair always one side that you struggle more with. Can you tell that this is my side? <laughs> Just like so. So that's all your under panel now curled. Beautiful. So now I'd work through onto the top section. Now with this, I do a little bit different because we need a little bit of a bounce for when we're going out. So let's take one side first. Maybe I should have done my good side. Let's show you this side first. So I'm going to split that into two. Wrap that around my barrel. Bring that right up. Same as before. Straight up to the root. I do my curls back away from my face because I like to flick my hair. Some people might prefer it forwards. You've just got to work out what you like. Get that nice and hot. I do do bigger sections through here, so it takes a little bit longer 
Just keep an eye on the hair, feeling nice and warm. That feels good. So I loosen that slightly and let that drop into my hand and place a clip through the middle there just to hold that until it sets. Again, make sure you've got all your clips on hand. So again, round the barrel, bring it right up to the root. Just like so. Excuse my isolation nails, look at those babies. I can't wait to get back to my nail technician. <laughs> right, so that's now nice and warm. So again, dropping that barrel out, catch the curl in your palm, like right, so. Grab your clip. These ones are really big. I couldn't find my little silver ones this morning. So I'm going to catch it. Let's go this way. There we go. Just keep that like that. Well, that's not going to be annoying at all. There we go. Good. Right, so that's one side done. Let's do this side. Right, so split that into two or three, depends on how thick your hair is again. This side's obviously a bit heavier on mine. So come in at the top and get as close to the root as you can. This is what creates the volume. So we've got this section here. I've got quite a central part in. So you do need to do this around where your part in sits. And like I said, I like to flick my hair back and forth. So I quite like a bit of bounce up here. So I would split this into two. So let's do this crown area first. Make sure you've got all the hair that's not already in rollers. might be a little tangled now because it's been knotted up so just run your brush through so. I need super strong arms for this job so and then roll it down so the same as the sides but nice and square all through the top just keep an eye on that hair getting nice and hot. And then the remainder. 
reminders. Again, run a little brush through there. So they're really nice and hot at the moment. So I would just wait about 20 minutes now and make sure they've cooled down nicely before I take them out. Um, I'll go get my products and I'll show you how to finish that off. Right, so I've left this about 20 minutes now. This one's been doing my pickle in. <laughs> so I'll give that a quick spray with hairspray. I use the one from my wholesalers so I use the high-tech hairspray I like that one it doesn't get too sticky right so that feels all nice so I would then just unpin these and let them drop down whoa look at that lovely bouncy curl So all dressed up and nowhere to go. Need a little black dress with this hair. Lovely, look at that. So you can see why I left this. You see how bouncy these top curls are compared to the bottom. So when you roll it and let it set till it's cold, they're just so much more bouncy and you get so much more volume, which is why I tend to just do the top because I really like my length. So, this is the bit that most people get, whoa, a bit scared. So as you can see, that is all beautifully curled. So don't be scared to now run a hairbrush through it and smooth that all through. And then using your fingers, just style that all the way through to the end so that all sits in nice and sleekly. And I would also now use my Kerastase Elixir Oil and run that through to those ends. It just gives it a real nice glossy feel before you go out. And there we go. So there we have it, nice out, out curls.